The art of film development is at risk of being lost to the ages while digital photography is becoming more prevalent every day. Bill Eklund, owner of Sharp Photo and Portrait, is hoping to keep that process alive for as long as he can by continuing to offer film processing. I think we have an opportunity to keep developing film. There's still a real interest in film. Um, uh, young people in particular are kind of rediscovering the media and, and we're finding that it's really become a more artistic uh, form of uh, uh, expression. Eklund Shop, Sharp Photo and Portrait, is one of the last one-hour photo processing labs left in the Chippewa Valley, allowing film to be ready for customers quickly. Uh, we take uh, the film basically and uh, we load it onto a leader cards and then the leader cards are fed into a, a film processor which pulls that leader card and the film behind it through the chemicals and uh, you know, develops the film, you know, through a machine. These processing machines are only used for color film, however. Black and white film is processed the old-fashioned way. We still load it on stainless steel reels and put it in stainless steel tanks by hand and uh, put in the developer and put in the fixer and the stop path and, and dry it just like the old days. It's, it's the best way to do it and uh, it's the most expensive way to do it because of the time involved and the chemicals are getting expensive now too. But we can get fresh chemistry in there every time. We don't have to worry about that oxidizing and, and just get better results, the best results. Sharp Photo and Portrait has no plans to stop developing film in the near future with hopes of preserving the process for future generations. Our long-term plan is that we're going to be in film for a long time, uh, and I'm looking to have this well into the future. I mean, I'm, I'm betting that uh, we'll be processing film 20 years from now, and uh, as long as there's demand for it, we'll stay with it. For Inside Eau Claire, I'm Max Harding.